Jack, so it's nearly here. The first crash against your old town. I've talked about it a little bit, but does it sort of feel a bit surreal this week, a bit weird? Um, no, not really. I think it's it, it's exciting. Um, generally, these these bigger occasions, these bigger games, um, they're fun. It's it's pretty easy to to get up for them. So uh, really looking forward to it. Do you uh, how do you approach it? Do you message your teammates during the week or <laughs> your former teammates that is, and, and, and trash talk them a little bit, or do you try and play it cool? No, no, not at all. Just um, just. Uh, keep professional. Um, you know, ultimately, it's it's a it's a big game and it's an exciting game, but uh, it's just another game. So um, we want to you know take it as 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 it is. Um, we want to you know approach every game uh, the same way. Obviously, it's it's going to be a little bit more intense, and um, you know the tempo is going to be higher. Um, you know, it's 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 one obviously that the fans really enjoy. So we want to put on a a performance. But um, yeah, like ultimately, it's 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 another game. It's another opportunity to get, you know, uh, three points. We're at home, so um, we just want to continue to be consistent, which we've done for the last, you know, three four weeks. Having been on, on both sides, or soon to have been on both sides, what is it about the fixture you think that, that makes it such a passionate and, and competitively full derby? Um, well, ultimately, it, it, it's a derby. I mean, uh, I guess uh, you know, there's only one team in Adelaide, obviously. Um, so this is the closest uh, you know derby we're going to get um, at the moment. Um, and I think just the history with with uh, obviously a whole heap of things. Um, you know, I mentioned um, you know obviously Cozzy and, and Muskie, and um, you know I, I guess this one's a little bit more um, uh, enhanced because obviously Marco's gone. Gone to victory, and I've I've come back. Obviously, well, I've come to Adelaide, so um, you know there's uh, obviously a little bit more, um, you know, uh, fuel to the fire, so to speak, um, to this one. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's obviously uh, it's going to be a, a nice occasion. Has there been much talk about you know Marco? It's such a big occasion for the club to face their old coach. Has there been much talk internally about coming up against him? No, not really. To be honest, obviously, um, you know the boys know what is like and what is about, but. Um, yeah, that's that, that's football. Things change pretty quickly, so you just got to move on. You know, we've got we've got a new gaffer now, so we got to um, you know we, we we play the way he wants us to play, and um, obviously um, you know, like I said, uh, it's it's uh, things things change, uh, and you got to move on pretty quickly. Do you sort of the boys take some um, excitement out of trying to beat your old coach? Is there any sort of that going on? I guess depends what kind of relationship they had with him. Um, ultimately, uh, I think just in general, this is uh, this is one of the games that, like I said, it's easy to get up for. You want to win it. Uh, you, we want to win it every game, but yeah, you know, you know, this is a bit more of a, uh, a special occasion, so to speak. So um, it's definitely, um, you know, I, I think in terms of fixtures in in the in the season, it's definitely probably the the biggest occasion, especially with it being at home. Do you, do you think the manager would feel? the new coach would feel any added incentive to, to try and put out a team to win this week just given that of course you know Michael was pretty pretty well loved at this at this part um I don't know. I, th I think uh, I just think generally with the occasion, you know, uh, like I said, there's no that, that I know of. There's no you know strings attached there. And like I said, he you know uh, the, he he's gone. And another gaffer's taken his place. So um, like I said, that's just football, and it happens. You know, in my perspective, in um, as a, as a player as well. You know, someone comes and, and someone goes. So it's just you know one door I guess uh, shuts, the other one opens. So. Um, I just think just to the occasion, and uh, I think definitely consistency. We want to be consistent, so um, it's uh, it's very important for us to get something out of the game. And I think with it being at home, um, it's uh, it even uh, heightens that. In terms of a tactical advantage, do the boys know that how they used to play under Marco? Do they know how to sort of use that against him, so to speak? Um, I mean, I think we know the style of football. I mean, with what well, there's been five games already this. This season, so just just going off of that, um, uh, not too much has changed in terms of his tactics and the way he wants to play. But ultimately, they you know it's it's completely new and different players. Um, so it's how they adjust to that. They have had the, the the best run. Obviously, they haven't had a good start, but ultimately they've got some 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 good players as well. So um, you know if you get uh, complacent, then they can punish you. Have you um, thought about what you do if you score? <laughs> um, not not necessarily. Um, no, not at all. Uh, to be honest with you, 
Uh, it's nice to get on the score sheet, but I think um, you know my main focus is trying to create as much as I can for the boys. Obviously, I'm playing a little bit more of a, a deeper role. So, um, you know, I just got to stay focused on doing my job and, and, and creating chances and getting as many assists and passes as possible. And obviously, you know, uh, if I can get on the score sheet, it'll be fantastic as well. So it's not like having a, a speech in your pocket for the Oscars in case? No, no, nothing like that. No. So you're just going to bring it, if it, if it does happen? If it happens, then I'll just, uh, whatever emotions uh, I'm feeling at the time, then that's what you'll see. <laughs> um, how is, obviously it's been an ongoing process, so it's, it's not really a new thing for Riley McGregor, mm -hmm. with, the, with the sanction officially handed down this week, and mm -hmm. how has he um, been handling it internally? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's okay. I think uh, it's good that it's resolved now, and he can just... Just uh, kick on and continue to do what he's doing, you know, uh, focus on his football and um, like I said, it, it is what it is and it, it, it's, it's done and dusted now and um, he just needs to, to focus and, and obviously the, the, the group, the, the coaching staff have supported him and um, like I said, it's just, um, you know, just concentrate on football, that's it. It's obviously been a pretty tough time for him, how have the boys sort of got around him to sort of make sure he's okay during this time? Yeah, I mean, generally, I don't think you, know, you want to bring it up too much, to be honest. I think just, um, you know, if he needs a help or a chat or that just in general, whether it's Riley or someone else going through something, you know, just um, we're obviously there to support him. What I've seen here is, is a good, good bunch of boys. Uh, everyone gets along really, really well. Um, so that's, that's important to have a good uh, team unity. Um, and, and like I said, um, if, he's, if he's needed help or he's, he's, he knows he's got the support of, of everyone at the club. Um, and like I said, we haven't really mentioned it too much, to be honest. We've just, you know, um, he's been pretty, pretty mentally strong and just come in every day and, and gone about his business. Does, the, does his form to start the season indicate that he, he's not the sort of kid that gets distracted very easily? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think he's, he's, he's doing well, um, obviously. Um, He's, uh, he's, he's, he's playing some, some good football and scoring a couple, some, some goals as well. Um, and we need him to continue to do that. We need more from him and, and I'm sure he'll, um, as the season goes on, he'll get better and better. Put your gaffer cap on. Who starts at striker? <laughs> <laughs> um, not too sure yet. Got a couple more days, so we'll see how we go. So it's, it, Toure's created a pretty tough um, dilemma for, for, for Bake though, hasn't he? Um, yeah, I think that, that, that that's good though. Um, obviously, uh, Christian scored his first goal on the weekend, and I think it's a, it's a good headache to have as a, as, as a coach. Um, and even as players, you want everyone pushing each other. So ultimately, that's um, how everyone will, will get better. And um, it's yeah, it's a, it's a good good um, op opportunity and option to have. Um, but um, I, I think as well, you know, we, we can't get too carried away. I think. Uh, um, obviously they've started well, but these young boys uh, still have a lot to learn and a lot to improve on. Um, and um, I think, uh, like anything, um, most of these boys have a good, good head on their shoulders. So, um, you know, I'm sure they'll continue to learn and progress. And, and the new role, how have you been joining? We've seen you move up a, a little bit um, over the last few weeks, but yep. mainly in that sort of creative team, I'm well. How are you yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's been working. So um, I, I think uh, every game and, and, and opponent and team obviously play a little bit of a different style of football. So I think you'll see me change a, a little bit from week to week. But, um, you know, like I said, it, it's working. I'm happy with the way I've started. Um, uh, there's a lot more to improve on. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm obviously getting, getting on the ball and, and doing my thing and, and, and just doing my, my bit for the team um, as much as I can.